What's up guys, Dustin McDangle's back here with another video and this is the NHL Be A Pro series here with Dustin McDangle as we are in the thick of it here in a divisional battle to start the episode off against the hated New York Islanders. We're sitting here, 43 games played, 24 goals, 28 assists for a total of 52 points, not too shabby for a rookie and it's a battle here for the Hart Trophy. I believe Patrick Kane is at the top with most points right now, so it's just a matter of trying to catch up and pass him. So in this episode, we're going to try and do our very best to do so, but before we do get into it, um, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so so you don't miss out on any future content, guys, moving forward, whether that be Be A Pro, Hockey Ultimate Team, Franchise Mode, Shootout Challenge, or anything in general. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that content but without further ado guys let's go ahead hop into this game against the New York Islanders and hopefully come away with three points offensive zone draw here Zabinijad looking to win it can he do so he does puck over to Dustin we're gonna take this uh, wimpy slap shot that goes wide as Pernarin ties up Pajot we're gonna come in there absolutely pulverize Polak on the play we actually had a nice fight in the last episode against just as I'm talking there, we actually get a tripping penalty. But, um, again, big hit there on Polak as we were actually uh, – we dropped the mitts with him last game. So definitely an early rivalry there brewing as Zabinijad trips up. Uh, might have been Barzell, not too sure. But, again, we are on the penalty kill. Barzell able to tie up Bailey. Works that puck out. Barzell with a shot. That's blocked. Big hit there. Dustin with a chance. Are we going to go Datsuk flip? Datsuk flip. Dustin, we did it! We got it! Oh my god, what a goal! What an absolutely nasty goal. We pulled it off in Be A Pro with Dustin. Holy smokes, the Datsuk flip as soon as I hit Taves there. And Zabinijad got the puck. It was all us. Off to the races for the Datsuk flip for the Geno. Get Telling coach, we're going to get you a goal. We come out there and absolutely dazzle on the Datsuk flip over Verlamov into the back of the net and we have the lead here in Long Island for the goal of the year line on I'm not too sure if I like that or not I although pretty sure Fox might be a two-way defenseman I can't remember off the top of my head is Dustin trying to get a spinorama able to take a hit to make a play Panarin with a chance there could have gotten us an assist on the play as Dustin comes in and takes out Nielsen there nice big hit gotta get back into the zone does Nielsen want it again Nielsen wants it again we give him the big hit is Pajot looking to get into the zone? I'm going to work that over to Zabinijad. Off to the races here. Dustin uh, trying to catch up there. As Zabinijad loses that puck here. But we're in. Nice spinorama. Dustin looking to the point there. D'Angelo with a chance on target. Saved by the goaltender. And Polak uh, tied up. We're going to go for the change. But man, what a crazy good shift that was. Goal of the year. Datsuk flip. Absolutely crazy, crazy stuff as Puck is actually at the point, Dustin. Gonna take the slap shot, trying to injure somebody, but we end up only breaking their stick as we take a run there at Bailey, able to knock him down, and Polak jumps in to sort of uh, step up for his teammate, Polak. He beat um, Petrangelo earlier in the very first fight, so we gotta make up for that. We're railing Polak on the uppercuts and side punches. Couple nice hooks there, we, we don't even lose our bucket as we finish off Bailey and we take Polak to the cleaners. So hopefully that will give the boys some energy maybe to sort of go ahead and get a goal. It was a little bit of a late hit. Polak didn't like it. Drops the mitts. Was a, the early winner. Man, we really messed up Polak's face there. Look at his eye. Absolutely beat up on the play. We also injured him. It looks like he is bloodied. Polak is bloodied and we came out of there unscathed. So hopefully we'll continue on here uh, with this lead against the Islanders. As we're waiting on this simulation. And it worked guys. That big fight. Able to get the boys buzzing. Able to get the puck into the back of the net. And we're up 3-1 to one here as we continue on in this period. Get the puck out of the zone here. Dustin. We're going to find Panarin. Panarin. He's going to find Zabinijad with a chance. And that's an apple boys. And that will seal the deal. Nice puck movement. We found Panarin. Panarin finds Zabinijad buzzing back door. And he's able to bury that into the back of the net for his 16th of the season. Found Panarin. Panarin with a nice little backhand sauce. Little four, backhand forehand tuck into the back of the net as he, Zabinijad able to beat Verlom off there for the sort of extending that lead goal. 
We're up by three in the third period, and I mean, other than our absolute collapse here, there's no way we lose this game. So we got to get back. Breakaway chance for Eberly. Big save there from uh, Shesterkin, able to hold on here, and that will most likely be our last shift of the game unless they give us one last late one but we are able to walk away with a four to one victory against the Islanders again getting the goal of the season guys absolutely crazy stuff uh, so we'll go ahead and hop in to this simulation and sort of see where we stand after the next couple games so after the simulation we are actually on a three game skid we lost to the Blue Jackets the Hurricanes and the Chicago Blackhawks after getting pumped five to one so Definitely need to put in a good performance here today against the Bruins as they actually have 30 wins on the season. So definitely if we want to try and stick with the race here for that President's Trophy and even just having a high playoff spot, we're going to have to try and come through with this game, come out of here with a win and hope for the best. So let's go ahead, hop into this game and see what we can do. Simulation is Bergeron walks on right through. There is Shesterkin able to make the save, but dangerous stuff early in this game as uh, sort of if we gave up that goal that would have been bad news uh, for us there but able to hold on for the defensive zone draw and Marshawn just misses the net wide there so definitely going to be a very tough test here against the Boston Bruins as Dustin ooh, trying to get a little turn there against McAvoy unable to get through as Marshawn who we were going for that big hit he just turned away that could have been absolutely devastating of a hit Pasternak makes a nice play there. And we're off to the races here with Panarin. Trying to get past Bufflin. We're going to look back door to Panarin off the post. Big chance there. Saved by the post as the Bruins get a little lucky there. D'Angelo works it down low. We're going to work this over to the point. Petrangelo with a shot. Tipped in front. Um, Panarin on the tip. We should be able to get an assist out of this play able to find the back of the net for his 15th of the season big sort of turnaround there on that shift as we were hemmed into our zone by the Bruins able to get a little break there enter the zone good puck movement able to beat the Bruins there as we found the far point Petrangelo on the clapper half clapper and Panarin on the tip in front able to get that pass to lock here for the early one nothing lead here against the Bruins there big save from Shesterkin we're gonna work this puck out we find Panarin He's off to the races. Panarin. Going to find Zabinijad. Takes the shot far side. And Van Riemsdyk able to come up with that puck. Here come the Bruins. Once again, Moore is going to dump that in. Uh, who's on the puck? I don't even know who's on the puck. Cody Cece is on the puck right now. He's getting tossed around. Puck falls back to... Sh oh, my goodness. Shesterkin. He plays the puck. And Kreider. Off to the races. He gets bumped off. We're going to find the man. Back door. Oh, Zabinijad. Could have put us up three there with a nice little sort of bump play from Kreider. Tries to find that back door. But uh, Halak able to make the big save as we go off for yet again another line change. Dustin with the puck looking for somebody. No one's open. <clears throat> Tried taking that shot through traffic but was blocked by Bufflin. It's a big body to try and get a shot past. But here we are off to the races. Kreider again with that little toe drag. <clears throat> tries to find us cutting through and we actually lose the puck. So a nice hit there. Kreider, free entry into the zone. Dustin, we're going to find... Oh, I tried passing the puck and it didn't pass it, but Dustin still with the puck. Dustin with a shot off the post. Fox, he's going to find Dustin. Fake slap shot. Dustin, first side. There it is, guys. We make up for that missed shot off the post. With a little fake clappy, awkward fake clapper. There as it was pretty much like skating backwards. We get our 27th of the season. On the nice little wrister upstairs on Halak, giving us the three-goal lead here, making the Bruins pay <clears throat> for taking that penalty, uh, the chirping penalty from Marshawn, as able to fake that clapper, Bufflin out of the way, gives us the room to take the shot, and Halak unable to catch up to that with his glove, so we find the back of the net for our first of the game, second of the episode, obviously not as pretty as that first goal we scored, but nonetheless, a goal's a goal, and we are up three in Boston. Five left to go here in this period, as we hold this commanding 3 nothing lead. Um, definitely super important to try and get this victory as we've been on that three-game skid. Dustin able to get around one, trying to go short side. OP and just over the glove, uh, over that corner. As Marshawn again tries to skate away from the big hit. Dustin on the breakaway. Dustin 
wow, why is Halak playing that? We probably should have gone backhand or forehand backhand on that. Instead, we tried going the other way around backhand forehand. Took the long way around. Obviously, Halak was able to, to sort of cover that up. Um, and that would have been a big second goal of the game. But Dustin, nonetheless, nice little move here. Going to cut. Oh, we tried moving that back to the point. As Felino, we're going to send him down to the ice packing. And Ruta, we're going to send him packing as well as Zipinijad. Walks down Main Street, unable to bury, but uh, definitely a solid shift. Should have buried that breakaway, but, I mean, we're still up three here against the Bruins. Marshawn off to the races, trying to get them yet again another goal closer. Tie up in the corner. Dustin will find Panarin. Panarin off. Use your speed, dude. Panarin not using his speed there. I don't know why. That's interference. Absolutely interference. We were trying to get to Marshawn, but... We're interfered with. Got to watch the third guy high. Watch the point now. No one there. Watch our point. Why isn't Panarin on his point? We're going to take Trevor Reemsdijk down to the ice. We have an abbreviated 2-1. Oh, I didn't see that third guy. I didn't see that guy back. I thought we had somebody with us. On that man break. Dustin's third man high. Going to take the shot on Halak. He's able to make the save. As we're coming down to the wire here. Shot saved by Halak. We've got three minutes left to go. We're probably going to be taken off the ice. And that'll most likely be our last shift of the game, unless they put us back on here. Hopefully we can hold on to this lead, and it looks like Kreider able to get the empty net. Gives us the 5-2 victory here in Boston. Uh, walking away with two points in that game, one goal, one assist. But we'll go ahead and take a look here at the team standings and the team stats, and we will close out this video. Looking at the team stats here, we do have a strong hold on the Metropolitan Division with 64 points. Next closest team is the New Jersey Devils with 57, so 30 games won, 14 losses and 4 overtime losses uh, for that 48 games played. Taking a look here at the Eastern Conference, we are sitting here in 2nd place here with 64 points. That game against the Bruins was pretty huge, getting our 30th win of the season. Um, with one game in hand as well, so that is also very nice to see as well. We are a few points behind the Tampa Bay Lightning and looking at the entire league. We are, it looks like we are catching up to the Blackhawks, so as long as we can continue on and not have sort of those three-game skids during these simulations, things should go in our favor to possibly winning that President's Trophy. Taking a look at here at points for the team, Panarin is definitely catching. Uh, he's got 52 on the season. We are still sitting in first. 57 points in 48 games played. 27 goals, 30 assists. Plus minus is plus 28. Um, and then just taking a look here at the league stats standings. Uh, we still are sitting here nicely in second place with 57. With those 57 points, Patrick Kane sitting there in first with a total of 60 points so definitely need to have a big episode in the next one definitely need to score some more goals get up there a little bit in the goal tally uh, to try and catch up to him to maybe win that R maurice richard trophy taking a look here at the rookie skaters obviously we've got a massive lead on lafreniere who's got 28 points in 49 games played uh, but i mean as it stands now it as of as long as we don't get injured we should have the calder all tied up and sort of sewn away but again that's going to be it for today's episode if you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a thumbs up on this video i hope you guys have a good one and as always stay dusty